Hello, Rachel. Uh, this will be some week three video feedback for you. <clears throat> uh, your last week's discussion was really good, and it invited all kinds of responses. Uh, you had sources, and it was even formatted, you know, in something other than the standard Arial. So thank you so much for making such a detailed, comprehensive uh, discussion post. I'm glad you noted uh, several things about uh, Kuhn's uh, interpretation, if you want to call it that, of the Davidovici uh, photograph. And one of them being that, uh, you know, uh, Kuhn's replaced the face of uh, the model uh, in the Davidovici ad with that of his ex-wife porn star. Um, and... <laughs> You know, it's a, it's, it's, it's a little insulting, I think, to Davidovici. But at any rate, um, and there are other things, too, that Coons has changed. The original Davidovici ad uh, plays on kitsch. Yes, that's a postmodern, I think, advertising um, sort of trope. But it also plays on a lot of Eurocentric uh, myths, uh, cultural sort of, I guess, icons. Um, you know, the using pigs to find truffles in the springtime. Um, or using uh, St. Bernard with a brandy uh, flask or barrel around its neck to um, help, you know, victims of avalanches in the Alps. But, um, and so I think, you know, Coons has adopted a lot of those Eurocentric tropes because that's where his market is, really. And the settlement for uh, cases like this our small fraction are the costs of his works of art, which are in places like the Louvre. What do you suppose the emperor ping penguins mean? Uh, and then, yes, the, the fairy case. I think it's pretty clear that if he hadn't destroyed uh, some documents, um, you know, he, he would have been fine. Uh, Rachel, I'm glad that you're considering, you know, image sources. That's, that's really the whole point of this week, or last week's discussion. And um, considering uh, embedding this uh, on its own layer uh, somewhere in the uh, image itself, you know, on a Photoshop uh, file, for example, that's an example of metadata. A uh, nice job too. Oh, here, yeah, here for example, you've done it. You've done what just what I was suggesting you do, and you've got the mask on its own layer. Um, well, you have the adjustment layer mask as well as the mask. Oh, so you've applied, sec selectively applied a color balance to um, what, the marble mask of the Buddha. Nice. So wow, you've done a couple things. A color balance as well as a uh, silhouette on a single layer. Very economical. Now let me just check to make sure that the image is the right size. So uh, yes, I do. I see it's 8 by 10 at 300. Um, good. So you can, you know, scale it up a little bit maybe, um, but I wouldn't do too much more. It looks like it'll, it's ready to go be embedded in your Illustrator. Good job. Oh, uh, Rachel, here's your very nice um, package of Illustrator files. I see there's two options. Um, I'll open them both up. And I see in one, you've got the... Uh, the that was Trent's, by the way. Okay, now look what's happening. Uh, when I open them, it's prompting me um, for a linked asset that can't be found. Okay, so um, click, click replace to relink asset using the links panel. Now I've got the link. Let me show you something. Um, I'm, I think I have your silhouette download. And so I, I'm just going to click ignore for now. Um, oh, it's there though. So you did get it in there. All right, so there's something I'm not seeing, though. You you managed to embed this image, at least, which is from um, the uh, first exercise. I'm wondering what I'm missing here. It looks like you were able to embed one image, but perhaps not another. Artwork 2, I believe I'm missing. Uh, all right, but let me address what you do have. Uh, you've done all the required things. You've got... What I do need to see, though, is the logo. And maybe that's in the other one. So uh, let's see. Okay, I'm, I'm getting the same error, error message. Um, and hmm, are these the same? Okay, at last. And boy, it's nice. Um, 
yeah, I like I like everything about it. I'm not crazy about this heavy border though. Um, I, I I'm not into I'm not inclined against a border, but I'm thinking about you know maybe a thin hairline of that purple within the image and have the image bleed off all four sides. Um, I like your color changes in the Buddha figure. And uh, let's take a look at your layers here. Looks like you've got. Hmm. Okay, you've got the logo on its own layer. You had the background on its own layer. So you've got all the requisite uh, parts uh, to fulfill the rubric. Uh, and I think you're well on your way to creating a successful design. Uh, your ingredients will fit both the banner ad as well as the uh, print ad really well. Uh, good, good going, Rachel. I look forward to seeing how you refine them.